Afternoon peeps, telling me Sean from Happy Days of Edge. I hope you all are keeping well and everything's going okay. Uh, it's Friday, is it the 4th? Friday the 4th of June? Uh, Friday afternoon, mid-afternoon? You find me here, uh, down by my uh, first early potatoes here in North Wales on a beautiful day. But the other day, uh, we had the, the weather, in my opinion, from what I've researched and what I saw last year, was, you know, you get that rain and it's warm and it's muggy because uh, it, it's the, the ambient temperature's warm. And that is the time when uh, potato blight can, can strike. Uh, I think it's called a Smith's period or there's, there's various names for it. I hope you can hear me because I'm... Uh, outside and there's a bit of wind but notwithstanding so I was concerned that I've gone to all this cost and effort to plant all these potatoes and last year I, I, I'm not a hundred percent but I'm pretty sure I had a, a little bit of blight late in the season so I was looking online for something to help combat uh, potato blight because once you get it you get it job that's job done end of potatoes so the beauty of this is, because I'm growing potatoes in containers, if one plant did get infected with blight, I could just take, take the container out the way and leave it somewhere else and, 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 then, and then see how it goes. You could take off the leaves or whatever, but as far as I'm concerned, or as far as I've been told, you know, once the old blight strikes the plants, then, you know, uh, you can cut some of the leaves off and some of the stems off and whatever, but, you know, it's as good as done. And with your potatoes being so close together, even though I've planted these apart, they'll all touch eventually. I just thought to myself, is there anything I can do to try and uh, reduce the, the, the chances of getting blight? Now, touch wood, fingers crossed, touch wood, I won't get blight. But, you know, I'm, I'm a belt and braces type of man. So, I searched the internet and there are people out there who use certain sprays and chemicals to spray on the potatoes. So first things first, I'm not spraying anything that is, you know, dangerous to the environment, uh, to the crops, to the ground, to me, to the water supply, anything. So anything that I'm gonna have has gotta be uh, like a non-chemical formula, you know, plant-based, organic, or something that's not gonna affect the potatoes, any runoff into the soil, anything like that, because this compost in these potatoes is gonna be reused again. So, I saw a couple of videos of people using certain things and I thought to myself, well, I'm not using that because that's, you know, if the blight don't kill it, the actual chemical will kill you. And I did like the idea of that. So, and there's another one where they used a bit of vegetable oil in a, a backpack sprayer and a bit of bicarb and all this. And then I thought to myself, well, hang on, uh, vegetable oil doesn't mix with water. So that's, I, I, I think that's pointless. So, the only other thing I could find, because <clears throat> some of the things are banned, Yeah, some of the things are banned in the UK, but are okay in Ireland, yeah? So, uh, I'm in Wales, so, you know, what you're selling the shops in Ireland is irrelevant to me. So this is by a company called JBI. They're a seed potato merchant, established in 1895, and it's called Blight Guard, and this is concentrate. There's half a litre here, 500 millilitres. A non-chemical concentrate to help prevent uh, the help prevention of blight in potatoes and tomatoes. So they're not claiming for one minute it stops blight. It's just something you can use to ha help try to prevent it, which is what I'm trying to do. Uh, da, 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 da. It does state on the bottom. This product is a preventative only and will not cure crops of blight once they are affected because there's very few things that can sort out blight. So it doesn't tell you what it's made up of, obviously, because you'd be making your own. Uh, but basically, uh, it can be used on potatoes and tomatoes, but it does warn about tomatoes, about spraying directly on the leaves to give them scor scorching on the leaves. Now that's one of the other things I'm worried about. So, uh, 
I've mixed up the formula and I've got it all ready to spray these plants but I'm waiting <clears throat> till later tonight for when the temperature should drop a bit so I don't leave the residue on the plant which magnifies the sun rays which in turn will burn the leaves or oh, that's my thinking yeah so as I say there's 500 millilitres yeah there's the bottle never used it before it's got decent decent uh, reviews so basically it's telling you to use 40 millilitres in 20 litres of water right so let me show you this oh that weighs a ton I bought myself a new garden sprayer a, a backpack one yeah so where are we this is the one yeah can you see that it's it's a what they call a knapsack sprayer knapsack is another word for a backpack it's got a 16 litre capacity It's got a nice long land sprayer on the end. It comes with a total of three different uh, fittings, uh, but I'm using this one. Admittedly, I'd have preferred it if I could have turned that round and it pointed further upwards, uh, because when I'm spraying, I'm gonna to struggle to get underneath the leaves. So what I might do is, I might just take that off there and I might just try and bend the end up 45 degrees. If I, if I kink it and I break it, I can just cut it off and just shorten that. But that's something I'm prepared to do. So this sprayer is the, you know, it's the quintessential backpack one where you, you pump it and then it sprays out. Yeah. Now, I can't think how much that cost me. Uh, uh, it was it was less than thirty pounds that one, yeah. Uh, and this I can't remember how much this was. I think this was eighteen eighteen pounds or eighteen ninety nine, and it tells you to use it between the beginning of June and September every seven days. So that's uh, four times a month, June, July, August, September. Four, eight, that's 16 doses. Can't do the maths, but you know, I probably need one more bottle. Uh, but saying that, saying that, I probably won't because these are first earlies, so these will be out the ground uh, while the, some of these others are still growing. So who knows? I'll do the maths. Uh, I'll do the maths and I'll get back to you. So as I say, I'm using, because this is a, a 16 litre sprayer, I'm using 15 litres and 30 millilitres of this. Uh, uh, so, uh, 10 is three. Oh yeah, no, I'll have enough. I'll be able to use, I've, I've got enough in there for, uh, for the 16 applications that it needs hopefully depending on how much 15 how, how, how far 15 litres goes but notwithstanding if I have to buy another I'll have to buy another so basically you spray it all on the top and all underneath uh, and you saturate the leaves until they're dripping job done and then that's it done for another week so I'm going to do that later I'll show you that one more time yeah there's my garden sprayer faithful 16 litre backpack sprayer i've tested it uh and uh, and as i say the only thing i didn't like about it is i'd have liked that to to be more upside down so i can spray the underside of the leaves better so i'm going to take that into the shed now and i'm going to see if i can put a bend on the end of there if i break it i'll just shorten it if not fine yeah so uh thanks for watching and uh and i'll see you guys later happy days so the temperature's dropped, the sun's still out, but the temperature's dropped. It's m m mid, mid afternoon, early evening, uh, slight breeze. So I'm gonna spray these two rows of potatoes with my new knapsack sprayer. 
Yeah. It's got 15 kilos of water in. So there's, uh, sorry, 15 liters of water. So there's 15 kilos plus, plus the weight of the spray. So it's not that, it's not that uh, comfortable on your shoulders. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start spraying them and, uh, and I'll see you guys in a minute. right then so it won't take long I've just done the tops and this half and underneath the leaves as best as I can so I've got to carry on down the line and then I'll walk up and I'll do the other half and then I'll do both halves of them and any of these other ones that are poking through I'll just give those a little spray so yeah uh, let me know what you think uh, and I'll uh, this is a, 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 a lead on video from the one I've done earlier I said I wanted to try and bend this up, but this is not plastic, it's like a fiberglass material. It can't be bent and it can't be heated up and it can't be bent like a piece of plastic or pipe. So I'm doing the best as I can. So uh, yeah, let me know what you think and let me know if you, if you are doing anything like this because I'll be really interested to know. Okay, so until then, I'll see you guys later. Happy days.